A few years ago, we do believe that the center of everything was New York, Berlin or London. But I am very sure that today it's not like that. Cuban artists develop a relation with a, an American a, a structure, we can say galleries, museums, collectors, critics. And I think the free circulation between the two countries create a very beautiful field for, for, for things. Havana and Cuba have all this beautiful tradition for centuries of being one of the most illustrated countries in the area. Uh, in a way, it's a, it's a big and complex city. It's a, the urban situation is very, it's incredible. I started to work with the city now because the building was more about the, the, the trace, the human traces, the numbers, objects that I start to find, etc. And after several years, I realized that I've been doing architectural photograph. Havana is full of non-finished buildings. There are many, there are hundreds of buildings that never get finished. All the phenomena of the decade of of uh, architecture and the decade of uh, politics and existential topics as well. I've been dealing with all these things together, taking the city as a metaphor to develop this point of view. I'm proposing to, to redevelop a new building on top of the previous plans from the original architects. Took the photograph and redesign on top of photograph with, with my red drawings. In the creation of, of the buildings, a kind of utopias, spaces, a non-functional architecture. And it's just a process of transfer, uh, architecture drawing, architecture perspective, uh, invented city to a media of a pins and thread. They are very unique pieces, they are very ephemeral. I don't believe a lot in the, the idea of, a, of multiplied images. Um, it's something that I probably been very opposite of a traditional photograph. And this group of work, they are unique. It's a photograph from my archive, that was a record company building or something like that that I saw from the highway of Santa Monica that they was working in. Then I took some photograph. The place has been disappeared. Take it, the facade of the buildings, how they was, and translate it into the second photograph with the, where is the hole, where is the emptiness, and fill with different drawings process. Then at the end you have this diptych of how was the place and the trace, the, the phantom of the, of the building just the idea of the ephemeral of the city, the past of the time, the, the death, the decay, the, the hopes, the beauty that disappearing, the beauty that is appearing one more time. It's just this, all this process of living. And the, the beautiful thing for me is like after 10 years or 12 years, I can use again the same photograph and coming back with, a, you know, it's like a revival of these places. Uh, what I believe my work is today is not anymore about one specific city, it's more about what cities mean in the contemporary world.